Hey, I'm a rock stars, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome, 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 welcome back. Hey, I'm a rock stars. Today's story time with LaDonna is going to be my very first time going to jail. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. The very first time I went to jail, it started off, I went, me and my friends, y'all, I used to fight all the time for no reason. Just because we was young and we hung out in different neighborhoods, I hung out with a different set of girls than this set of girls and we were always fighting because these dudes wanted to talk to this person or this person. It was always something, y'all. We were so childish. We were so childish. We were all beautiful girls, all of us. It, it, it doesn't matter what side we were on. It, it does not matter. We were all beautiful girls. You know, we all attracted the same, you know, the same group of guys. But it was just something that just because you know, the a type the type of people that we attracted, the type of guys that we attracted, we was always into it about something. So we had already fought all the time. We were already enemies and we already, you know, we all went to the club. Me, I think at this specific time, I was probably about 18 or 19, maybe 17 or 18. I know I wasn't that old. I was pretty young. Because I've been going to the club for a long time, y'all. A long time. I shouldn't have been going, but I was. And uh, this this day, we all get ready. You know, we had all had a fight. Like, if I'm not mistaken, we had all got into it. And uh, every time we get into it, it carries on to the next place where we go. So childish. And we all get dressed. We all decided we're going to go to this um, to this club, and we all get ready to go to the club. And me and my group of friends, cousins, and everybody, we all get dressed, and, you know, we just, everybody just thought they was, <laughs> we thought we was the bum diggity back then, y'all. I mean, hair, and I never was the type. To wear makeup never i never i'm always I always been natural but i always want to see how i would look you know with my face made up i never had that chance and i always want to know but it, I, it never happens but we all there you know we all getting dressed you know you put on a little lipstick a little eyeliner and stuff like that and that's that's about all you put on you don't put on a base and foundation however it goes i don't even know how it go but we all getting dressed so we already talking about if such and such there and if such and such do this you know you already planning your night out you're not planning to go and have a good time and do this and do that you're already know what's gonna happen when you get there me i'm just like okay we gonna do whatever you know i'm neutral so we all get dressed we all go to the club we get there we all on the dance floor my sister my sister she she wasn't she had just i don't even think my sister was hanging with us yes yes she was i don't think i, I think i was older at this specific time and i don't think yeah, I don't I don't remember. I don't know if this was this might have been my second time. Okay, yeah, this might have been my second time going to jail. But anyway, I don't know my second or first time. I'm not for sure. But this I was I went to jail. So we had we on the we all all of us we on the dance floor and we just dancing, y'all know we just getting it, you know, we just up there, we just having a little old good time. And all of a sudden we hear, no, stop, don't do that. So we look back there, and it's my sister. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness. So we all take off running, and we just, it's just fights everywhere. Fights in the bathroom, fights by the pool table, fights here, fights there. So 
they finally get everything calmed down. I'm so mad. I walk outside. I get ready. You know, because you y'all fight my little sister, you know. So I'm going outside and me, I go walk out because they had like a if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a courthouse or it was some kind of government building across the street. And people would go park over there and they drink and stuff like that and leave bottles and stuff everywhere. So I walked across the street <laughs> and I picked up a bottle and I broke the bottle and I was finna go back in the club and I was about ready to do some damage. But, you know, I don't want to say too much because I'm on YouTube and I don't know everything or what I can say. But anyway, I'll go back in the building. At this time, the police is already there. I didn't even see the police, y'all. The police is already there. So when I walked through the door, he grabbed me. I'm like, oh my goodness, hey, drop the, drop the bottle, drop the bottle. So I'm holding in my hand. So after he, he was squeezing my hand so hard, I finally dropped the bottle. So by this time, he's getting ready to put me in handcuffs. I tell y'all, all I know is I see about four to five girls run up on me and started punching and hitting me. And I did not know what to do. All I knew to do, the police officer, he was a big dude. Oh, you know how they had them big old, bur them big old beer bellies. I crawled up some kind of way on that man's stomach. I went to kicking my legs. And I started kicking everybody away from me. And I was just kicking, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I was kicking. And the police had them handcuffs on me. And my arms was hurting, and he was steady pulling my arms back. I kind of think that's why my shoulder messed up right to this day because of um, uh, that night. And I was and I and I was young, but uh, anyway, I'm sitting up there. I'm kicking. I'm kicking. So finally, another officer come in, and there was another girl there. So I'm thinking like the other girl is there to fight me too. So the police officer just started grabbing people, the other police. So he finally got me outside and he stand, he stood me up by his car and we're like right in the middle. So the girls come and they was talking noise and saying all this other kind of stuff. And I'm already, I'm already under arrest. So the police officer tell me I couldn't say nothing. Don't say nothing to them. Don't talk to them. And I'm sitting there, and I'm just, I'm just, just being, I'm quiet, but y'all know I'm biting my lips. I'm, I'm just like, ooh, they just don't know. And the police officer say, if I take these handcuffs off of you, the way you sat up there and kicked half of them, I know you'll beat the mess out of every last one of them while they talking. So, you know, I'm feeling good now. I'm just like, yeah, I got the police on my side, so I'm feeling good. So... I, uh, the police officer say, well, you know, because he said, I wouldn't take you to jail because I did see that you was being jumped. He said, but because you had a bottle in your hand, I have to take you to jail. So I'm just like, oh, what am I, what am I going to be charged with? He said, we'll know once we get there. So I, I was outside probably like 20 or 30 minutes before they even took me to the jailhouse. So... <clears throat> I'm just like, all I hear is all this fighting and yelling and screaming. My sister and cousins and friends, they still at it. They still at it. So I finally get to the jailhouse and they get me and they get, I, I guess when you, when I went there, they took me into this one station and then they put me in the holding tank. Once I got in the holding tank, they just told me that, you know, they'll call me out and uh, they'll do all the paperwork and everything. So once they called me out, they called me and told me that I'll be charged with disorderly conduct. I'm just like, oh, thank you. Cause I could have been charged with assault, but the officer knew that those girls had jumped me and he knew that he, did, he, he just was not going to charge me with assault. So he charged me with disorderly conduct and, uh, once, once they did the paperwork and everything, they took me into this booking. And, and I mean, they took me to this holding cell. And I don't know what's this stuff. 
I had to take all this stuff out of my hair. And they um they spray all this stuff. They say it's like for lice. They spray all this stuff in my hair. In between. Oh man, I'm telling y'all, it was so gross. It just smelled like roach spray. So once they get me in, get me in my little think it was orange orange suit or whatever and some little flip-flops or whatever i go back into the holding the other holding tank i mean you have to sit there oh y'all it was so horrible i had to they tell you to bend over and they tell you to bend down and cough and oh man it was horrible so anyway i go back to the to the old to the other holding tank and there's this girl she come in and the officer say do you know her i say no they say, is she one of the girls that you was fighting? And I say, I don't remember her, but I do remember seeing her as I was leaving out. And they was like, well, we can't put y'all in the same cell if she was a, one of the other girls that was fighting. And so she told me, she said, I'm your cousin's friend and I was helping you. I said, oh, I didn't know that. So she get off in the tank, in the, in the cell with me, the booking before they pulled her out and do everything. And she was telling me what was going on and my sister was going off and they was going to the girl's house and all this other kind of stuff. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm in jail. And I didn't, I, I'm just like, they, they is, they is doing the most. So we finally, me and her, we finally get to, uh, to everything going and she got disorderly conduct as well. So they told us. In the morning, uh, I think at 8 or 9, they start releasing people for with disorderly conduct and minor charges or whatever. And that, you know, we didn't have no bond and nothing that will be released. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm getting home. And it was just crazy, but some kind of way I got home. And once I got home, they was telling me everything that would happen. I'm just like, y'all, I could not believe that I had went to jail and it was so crazy because it was just like out of everybody else, everybody was throwing pool balls, everybody was throwing bottles, everybody was fighting all outside in the parking lot. But I get my little dumb self trying to be bold, trying to act like I was bad, trying to go back in there like I'm finna do something. No, I wasn't finna do nothing with that. I wouldn't even know what to do with that broken bottle if I wanted to. You weren't finna get me in, in no trouble for none of that. So, I'm telling y'all, it was so crazy. And I was just like, I didn't know how to take it. I was crying. And I was just like, y'all, it's crazy, y'all. I'm the only one out of everybody went to jail. And jail is not a good place to be. And I done been several times. And I tell you one thing. I will never do anything like that to go again. I will control my temper. I will control anything I need to control to not go back to that place. Uh-uh. No. No. Not jail. But anyway, my rising stars, I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all about that time that, you know, do story time tell y'all about when I went to jail. That was just one of the times. I have some other times, but that was one of the times I wanted to tell y'all about my about going to jail. But until next time, I love y'all all my rising stars. Peace.